Mark Latinsky grew up outside Minneapolis, Minnesota, spending most of his time where he was happiest, the outdoors. Uh, he was a good kid, adventuresome, mischievous. Oh, he's mischievous. <laughs> he's mischievous, Big yeah. Grin. Yeah. During Mark's freshman year in high school, he went on a fishing trip with his older brother, who had brought along a friend, a young lady, two years his senior, named Heather. Proposed the idea of dating when I was, uh, I think, a freshman in high school, actually. I think I just laughed at him. Didn't really entertain the idea too much. I couldn't even take him seriously. Freshman does not ask out a junior. Heather went off to college to become a nurse, but Mark's interest in her never faded. And two years later, at Mark's high school graduation party, Mark and Heather reconnected. And this time, things went much better. Even before we technically started dating, I knew he was a very special kind of a person. I saw how he treated his friends and his family. I just really liked his strength of character. I knew before I we started dating long before. I mean, even in high school, I knew that he was going to be a Marine. I had no idea at that time how big of a role that that would play in my life. Mark enlisted in the Marine Corps in 2007. His first deployment was with a Marine Expeditionary Unit, or MU, based out of Okinawa, Japan. Mark spent seven months in the MU before returning home to Minnesota where he and Heather were married on October 3rd, 2009. The following day, the young couple drove to Camp Pendleton where Mark would prepare for his second deployment. He had signed up to join the Marines to be in combat, so he was very disappointed with his first deployment. He was afraid to tell me that their second deployment had been changed from another MU to Sangin, Afghanistan. And we really didn't have any idea exactly how bad it was over there. Saying goodbye that time was one of the hardest days of my life. Mark arrived in Afghanistan where amidst the rigors of war, Mark formed a great bond of brotherhood with his squad. We wouldn't want to spend time with anyone but each other. Uh, you know, he shared everything together, so obviously you got close. Uh, would do anything for each other and still to this day. Everything was routine. Uh, we we're going out to check out <clears throat> an area that was further east than any U.S. forces had gone. It was going to be a two-day op. So we had taken a building that we were going to set up for overnight and then went out to find some positions to put our machine gun team. And uh, it was on that that I stepped on the IED. Mark had lost both legs above the knees and his left arm above the elbow. He arrived at Walter Reed Medical Center in Bethesda, Maryland just four days after being injured. Mark's family arrived the same day, and when he finally awoke, his attitude was astonishingly positive. I don't remember consciously feeling despair. It was just, you know, whatever it's going to take, we'll, we'll figure it out. So I told the guys I would be standing on the prey deck waiting for him. And I was, but unfortunately, they weren't all there. After two years of physical therapy at Walter Reed, Mark and Heather returned home to Minnesota. The couple moved between multiple homes, which, despite being handicap accessible, all presented difficulties in daily life. The Gary Sinise Foundation reached out to Mark and Heather to help get them into a custom smart home, a home that would enable Mark to live an easier, more independent life. I had a hard time wrapping my head around it. Why would anyone just go through all that work to actually like to give you a home? It's just, it's too good to be true. But after meeting with them, people from the Gary Sinise Foundation are the most genuine, dedicated, um, hard-working, just wonderful people. It's truly a labor of love for them. They forced us to really think about the future and the home is designed not just for my needs now, but my needs for the rest of my life. With the help of independent community donations and in partnership with Building for America's Bravest, construction began on Mark and Heather's new house. On June 16th, 2015, the Latinskys received the keys to their custom smart home. The 
the stove has a cutout under it so I can wheel my chair up and comfortably access the stove. No bumps in the thresholds. I mean, it's, it's little things like that that really make a difference. And then when you add in all the smart home technology, uh, you know, you barely have to move to do anything in this house. It's beautiful, it's um, so functional. I'm so excited to be able to start our family here. I'm excited to have our first family meals around that table and to set up our first Christmas tree next to that fireplace. And there's a lot of woods around the house, so I imagine there's gonna be some new trails, some new trees that need cutting. We're outside and he's already eyeing this one that's kind of tipping, <laughs> needs to get cut. You know, we've got a lot of acreage here and it's gonna need some trails, so I'm sure there's, there's gonna be a lot of time working on that. I'm really looking forward to it, actually. Mark and Heather Lutinsky recently had their first child and look forward to building new memories of happiness and family in the Minnesota woods Mark loves so well. At the Gary Sinise Foundation, we serve our nation by honoring our defenders, first responders, their families, and those in need. To learn more about the Gary Sinise Foundation and how you can support other veterans like Mark Lutinsky, visit GarySiniseFoundation.org.